Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Dragon Ball Super Chapter 64 review. We're back. We might be a couple days late, but we back. We got it to you, the people. Joined, as always, by my anime brother in arms, the, my partner in all of this, Mr. Chris SJE. How are you doing today, brother? Man, I am doing Gucci, bro. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling right, you know what I'm saying? I've been playing a lot of Power Warriors and shit. Ooh, which one? Three? Four. I'm on four right now. Oh. Wait, where are you at in the anime? We quick, Jesus! Please tell me you're not spoiling yourself with. Oh no, uh, no, no! no. I'm, not, I'm, not get, I'm not that far yet. Uh, they okay. start you off in Alabasta, and like I'm in Water Seven right now. Okay, I'm bet. like toward the end of Water Seven, but like do, I'm in Zao in anime for sure. Do not go past Dress Rosa in the game because you will get spoiled. I'm oh yeah, letting, for sure, for sure. I'm just letting you know. Once you get there, chill out. Bro, but the I, intro low key spoiled me, but yeah, we can we can get it in because <laughs> that's some anime talk shit. We'll talk about <laughs> One Piece all the time, but One Piece videos coming soon. Y'all just gotta wait on it. Once Chris gets caught up, we will be doing One Piece videos. But it's not that I'm, time. I'm come around the corner when I come. It is Dragon Ball Super Time, Chapter sixty four. Son Goku, the Galactic Patrol officer. Interesting chapter. So real quick, I'm going to just tell the people what the chapter is about just super quick and then we'll discuss it because it, it not too much happened. In the, uh, well, a lot happened in this chapter, but it was a lot of fighting. So this chapter is basically Jocko and, and uh, Goku have a conversation about mirrors. Jocko's like, is he gone? Goku's like, yeah, he's gone. And they have a conversation about why he was a Galactic Patrol officer, why Jakku was. And Goku was like, well, I guess I am. I have to protect the Earth because I am right now. And he takes his deep breathing. He does it, the Maris technique. And then, boom, Ultra Instinct. We Weiss even says we're about to see the perfected version. Goku has perfected and learned Ultra Instinct. I'm going to ask you a question at the end. Right now, I'm going to say I think it's... We'll discuss some of this. We'll, we'll discuss that in a second. But yeah, Goku has Ultra Instinct perfected. He's doing it, fighting Moro, kicking his ass. He's getting Beerus' respect. Beerus is like, he's godlike, fighting incredible. Goku's just whooping his ass, whooping his ass. Uh, Moro's thinking like, damn, am I done for? Like, what's up with this? How am I gonna, how am I gonna do this? I'm the superior being. Goku's still whooping his ass. Moro can't get reason why. And then Goku beats him up so much that these rocks crumble on him. And then... Uh, he says, please don't kill me. Goku then looks to Jocko and like, what y'all going to do? Does he need to die? And Jocko's like, yeah, you should, you should just do that for us. Goku then rips off the Galactic Patrol thing, and he's like, I'm going to fight as an Earthling now. Beerus and Beerus are like, what the fuck's going on? And Beerus is like, I don't like this feeling. That's the chapter. Now, there's so much stuff to discuss. Let's not discuss the ending right now. Let's take it back to the front. Do you think this form of Ultra Instinct is now in Goku's arsenal? Uh, for sure. I think so. I, okay. I think he, he knows Ultra Instinct now, and I think that is fucked up for the longevity of Dragon Ball Super. How many, like, Low okay, key. do we think that this is gonna, like, is he gonna be able to do this, like, every fight now? Unless he's gonna be sitting like, oh, I forgot it again, until somebody dies, or somebody gets close to death. I don't know if it's gonna be a forgot thing. I think it's gonna be something like, he has to, like, charge up like enough key it's not something that'll work every time like it's something that the perfect scenario has to, like i think he'll know it but it has to be the perfect scenario the perfect situation brink of death enough energy stored up and then but i don't know man because once he did that breathing technique it's like he got it so it's it's gonna be interesting to say but i do agree with you i do think it's gonna mess up how vegeta and the rest of super moot like everybody's gonna have to either be a god level or every, everybody's going to have to be Ultra Instinct level for it to matter. But that goes back to what we talked about last chapter review about are we getting into the angels? And Man, is Ultra Instinct the, God, the way – because Beerus even said he's fighting God-like. So does that mean now after this arc we're going to be fighting gods and angels? I think so. I think, I think next level – and this is this is me theorizing, you know what I'm saying? Let's like, get it. Uh, that's, what this, that's what these videos are for. Let's get some theories out. I think they named this Goku the Galactic Patrolman because that's what he's kind of looking looking forward to doing, you know what I'm saying? Because there's, like, Beerus is the god of destruction. Maybe Goku could be, like, a polar opposite god to keep things in balance and make sure that people that try to take Beerus' job and destroy shit. Because that's what Goku's done from day one. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, Frieza, you want to just, just come take over the universe, destroy planets? You, like, running mafia-type shit in the universe to where you own planets, you got slaves everywhere and shit? I stopped like that. Yeah, like cutting that off. Like, oh, Majin Buu, you, you threaten to destroy Earth and then who knows what afterwards? Got to cut that off. So that could be Goku's new job. It's like not not necessarily. 
tell the Galactica Patrol, because that's what I was thinking while reading this, but at the end, it kind of makes me think like, oh, they're going to be like, bitch, you can't be no Galactic Control. So he's going to probably yeah. have to do his own thing. And when, like you said, Beers said he's fighting godlike. So I feel like that's not blank foreshadowing. Yeah, the, I don't think they just throw that in there for no reason. And, and I like your theory of Goku becomes a god, but the opposite god of Beers. Like, I don't want to say the god of reconstruction because that sounds weird, but like the god of life, the god of like, the and god literally. of... Of of love or some, something like something along those lines where he's the like opposite. Moro said that he's the opposite of the god of destruction, and then I think that pairs well for when the eventual Vegeta becomes the god of destruction. If they go this route, and then they're opposites forever, because we still have to remember that for Beerus believes that a Saiyan's gonna defeat him, so it could either be Goku or Vegeta, and I think the only way you can keep it even if we're doing godlike battles, because the moment you unlock Ultra Instinct. The show has changed. It, we're, we're different. So, and for Beerus to say you're fighting godlike, we're either going to be fighting angels or gods. And if Goku and Vegeta are, are getting ready to be that, I could see that for Vegeta to level up, he gets like, you know how Topo had the god of destruction, aura, and key. Instead of Ultra Instinct, he gets that, learns Hakai, and then versus, versus Goku's Ultra Instinct. And that way they can still be close to rivals. That's just a good, that's just a theory right now. How do you feel about me adding Vegeta to your? You're in the, like, a uh, uh, team anime talk theory. That would make a lot of sense. It would make a lot of sense to have uh, have Vegeta in, because Vegeta did fight Topo. That would, it would be great to see him go through that training like Topo was. Like They always say him... they always say he's the perfect candidate for God of Destruction. They've said that multiple times. And he's times. like the polar opposite of, of Goku, and they offer Goku the job too, and he's like, I'm not, I'm not built like that. Vegeta might be built like that. But see, and I think God of Destruction, we we see that as like a bad thing, but it's not necessarily. Like, yes, Beerus will destroy planets, but I think Vegeta would be the type of God of Destruction that's like, I destroy your planet if you're like evil, if you're not doing good shit, or if it's necessary to progress forward. Whereas Goku is stopping, where Vegeta won't stop tyrants and people like Frieza, that's Goku's job. But Vegeta's still doing good, just in a different way. They're mm -hmm. still, they're yin and yang. I think that would be interesting to see. Because like you said, I don't think you drop the line, he's fighting godlike, if we're in, he knows Ultra Instinct now. If like, how we move forward, we can't just do the BS that he forgets. There's no way. Like at all, so right. we, we shall see. But he, okay, what'd you think of the fight? Let's talk about that now. What'd you think of the fight with him and Moro? He whooped Moro's ass, bro. He hit Moro so hard that they sent shock waves through the whole earth. For sure, for sure. He gave Moro that, that that fucking whooping of a lifetime. Like he was just blocking Moro's hits every time Moro tried anything. He just shut that shit down quickly with that same. Like that's the most badass thing about the Ultra Instinct transformation. He had that just straight face on. He's just like, I do what I want. He He's looked like, like the anime sign, right like the, the this ultra. I like manga Ultra Instinct more than the anime one because the manga one looks like the one where he was doing the Kamehameha over the over the uh kale oh, yeah. or the Kefla, whatever the, the the beam. His hair looks different, his expression. Like, I like how this Ultra Instinct looks in the manga, I really do. I hope they capture the essence of it in the anime and take it to the next level because uh, Dragon Ball, especially in the Broly movie, uh, you know, the recent you know videos we've been getting the dragon ball been great or even heroes like they've been really doing a good job at making the uh, action uh, executing action well so hopefully they do that when they inevitably you know uh, adapt this arc because that's this gonna be one of the highlights of the arc and you never know this may be one of the highlights of dragon ball super you don't know where we go from here I, exactly after this chapter i feel like we don't have like a million arcs left i feel like they're narrowing it down to the last few or arcs. or they're changing up the series because like it's either like you said we're getting ready to end it or we're going to god and angels and we're about to get to like some crazy ass world from here but what was I going to say? I was going to say, also in the fight, I love that move where Goku is whooping uh, Moro's ass and then all of a sudden he does like this and he throws him up in the air and just punches him in his gut. Such a sick punch. Moro even loses his horn. Goku rips off his horn. Moro's looking super bad. Like, I'm going to put this in the editing, but Moro's looking rough, getting fucking fucked up. His nose is bleeding. His, his skull is bleeding. He's screaming, I'm this galaxy supreme life form. Goku's like... Bitch, please. Whooping his ass, bro. And then all of a sudden, the rubble gets cr cr uh, crushed on him. And Goku takes off the Galactic Patrol thing. And Jocko's like, why don't you kill him for us? And Goku's like, I'm going to be an Earthling. I'm going to do this my way. 
Weiss and Beers both say they have a bad feeling about this. Is Moro taking advantage of Goku? And is this when Goku gets defeated? This this is where it gets tricky, you feel me? Uh, they don't beat Moro arm off. This nigga only got one arm right now, you know what I'm saying? But he is in a point where, and you've seen it happen before, you feel me? I've you never, ever, 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 ever trust the anime villain when they're under some rocks. What, what was this man saying? The man said, please, <laughs> please help don't me. Kill, yeah, please don't kill me. No, he said, yeah, please don't, like, kill me. don't kill me. Yeah. But the, the killer part is, bro, you always see anime villains do that and the hero's like, oh, well, yeah, he literally, I shouldn't kill him. And then they, they fuck you right after that. They're like, ha-ha, bitch, you shouldn't just kill me. He literally There's no help. anime character that's never done that. He re- literally says, help me, please don't kill me. What? A- literally, But see, bro. okay, this could be, this is foreshadow. This is not foreshadowing. This is recalling or going back to when Vegeta, when, I mean, when Goku and Vegeta were fighting Frieza, when Frieza went golden form, Goku beats his ass, he's down to the thing, and then he destroys Earth. Whis breaks him back in time. Vegeta does the job. And, Go- and Whis is like, y'all have to remember this for the future. Maybe Goku finishes him here, but if not, do we see Vegeta finishing off Moro? I think Vegeta, uh, Vegeta definitely is going to have to do the job. because It this, unlocks like a form or something. Like the we end see. of this chapter just basically just says to me that Goku is sticking to his roots, and that kind of made me a little upset. You feel mm-hmm. me? Made me super upset. How do you unlock this new form, and you're going to th- see? Maybe, and that makes sense why Goku's this god of, like, love or whatever. Like, he does things to the stupidest nth. Like, you should not risk everyone's future because you don't want to kill this person you have to do it and, and maybe that's why vegeta is the perfect god of destruction because he'll kill but like that makes me so, so upset with goku like you said it's like you're risking everybody's life for a moral and a principle when i get it batman doesn't kill and the joker keeps coming back and killing people and batman has to deal with this but goku shit the Joker's not destroying the whole world. Moro's come and blow up the planet, bro. Like, it's a little different. Yeah. It's a little, it's a really little just, different. It's taking over shit. And it's like, go, and, like, Goku, you can't do that. And I don't know if Beerus and Weasel help him again. Ah, now see, that's the thing. They're just spectators. But just for the fact that, that uh, Beerus said, I got a bad feeling about this. That you tells tell me. It's getting ugly. And, the fucked up thing about it to me is this reminds me of such a like a demon slayer ending you know what i'm saying just because mm-hmm. you see the villain get built up to be this super gangster badass how are we gonna beat him and they just ask poor ultra you remember how uh, last episode i was like i don't think we're getting ultra instinct this fast i think they're gonna draw it out a I little told more. you so the way that they're doing it is they gave you ultra instinct but then at the end you're seeing goku do his typical goku shit be like i'm not gonna kill the villain and they're gonna have to deal with that next chapter i'm pretty sure unless goku just he's like psych i'm, I'm gonna kill him you know what i'm saying um, if that'd be badass if they do it and we just in the arc here and we move forward <laughs> but all i know is that goku literally he th- this is what he does you know what i'm saying and it's like his his biggest character flaw that he just can't kill a bitch now at the same time you see in Mirrors, not Mirrors, Moro, like, act like a bitch. He's like, please, don't kill me. It's like, oh, man, you seen him, like, it's like Baby Muzan running around the city. It's like... But see, I think I think Moro, if anything, he's going to absorb that uh, Ultra Instinct, or if he still can. See, I don't remember Ooh. if he can or if he can't. Like, I know we lost... Yeah, me neither, not with the Shattered uh, Jewel. He, he can't copy anymore, but I think he could absorb the, like, energy for his life and to, like, revitalize yeah, he could, him. he could eat. He was just he was just talking about he was gonna absorb the earth yeah. before uh Goku whooped his ass. So I'm so pretty he, sure he can still do that. So he can still absorb, and that's gonna have Vegeta have to come back and use that technique he learned from um from them people. And from, hopefully, the best thing we can see out of this arc is Vegeta coming back and like Goku flopping, uh, and Vegeta being like, "Dude, you gotta kill him, bro. He killed mm-hmm. Mirrors. What are you thinking? Like you're supposed to have more nuts than this, dog. You're yeah. Goku." I hope Vegeta gets a new transformation, bro, because it's so early in the, because, like, this chapter started in 42. It started Mm -hmm. at 42. We're at 64 right now. So this arc has been, like, 20, it's at, it's been 22 chapters, like, because it started at 42. Oh, no, been 24 chapters. So we've, we, we're, we're at 24 chapters total. We're at 64 right Oh, no, 22. We're at uh, 64 right now. So, yeah, it's 22 chapters. Suck at math. But so, <laughs> so how many more chapters do you see this arc going? I don't think we're going to be in this arc at 70 for sure. I, like, definitely maybe around like 66, 67 maybe. 
I don't think we have too many too many chapters left. I feel like seventy might be the cap. Okay, look, let me look at the uh the tournament of power manga chapters. Okay, give me one sec so I could pull this up so I can know how many chapters we had in each. So let's let's see. So in the uh tournament of power, why why is this thing not not doing? Give just giving me what I asked for. Um, I'm trying to see how many we had. Oh man, is this thing really just being lame? How many right arts? Or how many chapters? How many how many chapters were in the tournament of power? That's what I'm trying to figure Ew. out total. See, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. That I don't know. I'm gonna figure that out for next time because, like, look, okay, so. I can count out the uh, Goku Black art. So we had one. I think these are volumes. So we had one. Two, oh, no, these are chapters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, no, we had nine chapters of, of Goku Black. We had in the Tournament of Power, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 14 yeah 14 chapters so this one's already over this one's 22 oh it's a lot over you feel me we're not getting too much more so maybe end off that could mean goku just ends him i mean he might but i feel like we're gonna get a couple more we're at least gonna get up to like 36 you think we at least total third we'll get to 30 total i I don't think we'll get to 30 you say we're at 22 right now yeah we're at 22 I don't think we're going to get to 30. I think we might get to like 25, 26. You so you think 25 you, probably max. You think we only have like four more, four or five more? Yeah, like I don't see us passing up. Like we're at chapter 64. I do not see us passing up 70 for mm, sure. Okay, so by the time we get to 70, it's a new arc. Yeah, we're going to be either uh, knee deep in a new arc or uh, like in between arcs. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Well, we already gave our predictions for this chapter. Super dope chapter. Chris, did you like the chapter? I did like it. It was kind of bittersweet at the end. Mm, yeah. I just thought he was going to take more out. At the end, I was like, what do you mean you got a bad feeling about this? I'm like, how is this about to get stretched out? But I did like the fight. I, liked, uh, I love the fight. I love the whole, you know, uh, Goku Ultra Instinct is badass. Whereas this is still a fairly new form for us. It is. We don't have a lot of uh, screen time with, with Ultra Instinct Goku. We haven't seen a blast yet. Like, we haven't seen no. him do a key blast yet, except that Kamehameha against Kefla earlier. But, like, we haven't seen Ultra Instinct do one. Um, we haven't seen, like, any special moves from that. I'm very interested in that. But, yeah, I think, I think you're right. Like, but everything leading up to it was hype. And then the ending kind of made it sour. And I hope they end this, this arc strong because, like we've been saying multiple times, this is the best arc of Dragon Ball Super. And, oh, yeah. like, we want this arc to go, like, if this arc continues at the pace we were before, it could be one of the best arcs of Dragon Ball, the franchise. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. So, hopefully this ends well. Any, well, you gave your theory. We gave the anime talk theory of anything else that you want to predict going forward in the end. Man, you know what I'm saying? Next chapter, you feel me? He going to smack Goku for trying, to, for trying not to kill him and spare him. You feel me? Vegeta's going to be like, yo. I got to kill you now. He's going to smack Vegeta. And then Broly's going to come down. And Bro- <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no, <I'm> just- <laughs> what a wild theory. Put that out my ass, bro. That was the wildest. <laughs> but nah, man. I, I think we about to get surprised. Because uh, Toriyama's writing and Toyotaro's delivery of that writing, is not, it's not going to be nothing we expect. You know what I'm saying? I think we're going to get... Goku's going to do the earthling thing Get his power absorbed And then I think Vegeta's going to have to come through New form Use the uh, training he learned At wherever Goku learned ultra, uh, learned Instant transmission Whatever those uh, aliens are called I'm forgetting the name of them right now But Go- Vegeta's going to use that move that he learned there To, to equal out the uh, playing field To stop mm-hmm. the whole key absorption He's going to do a new form and I think Vegeta's going to take out Moro. That's my, that's my prediction. But I really like the anime talk theory that we got of Vegeta and Goku being gods of the, of the realm. I like that theory oh, yeah. a lot. But that would be hard as hell. That's all we got for this episode. Chris, tell the people they can find you at on social media. Find your boy at Chris or SJE everywhere. You feel me? I've been updating everything, so stay tuned. You feel me? I got a lot of clips locked and loaded. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of anime content going viral soon. You feel me? 
Hell yeah, y'all be sure to follow Krista as well as by the time you guys hear this, the Ghost in the Shell Run It Back is out. Me and Krista reviewed the anime classic Ghost in the Shell. Come find out if he becomes the new Run It Back King and takes out your name. Come see what me and Krista rank it where we think Ghost in the Shell, what we thought about the movie. That's out now on the YouTube. You guys can follow me at LinBWT, follow the Bros Who Think at Bros Who Think. If you haven't checked out the most recent episode of Anime Talk where we review the most recent episodes of God of High School, where we review the most recent episodes of Fire Force. We talk about how manga chapters can turn into seasons like anime. We talk about so much good stuff in there. Y'all be sure to check that out, as well as the uh, most recent episode of the Bros Who Think podcast and new Bros Who Think podcast coming this Thursday if you love music and pop culture talk. But until the next Dragon Ball Super review in a month, we will talk to y'all soon. Oh, also, if y'all like Kaiju number eight, there's a review of that, and we have more anime content coming, like Chris said. But until then, my name is Lyndon Burton. For Krissa, you guys have a good one. Until the next Dragon Ball Super review. Peace!